This video is sponsored by Film Objective. Sunrise mission to tunnel view. Oh my god, it's so early. Oh my god. It's freaking cold, man. It's like 20 degrees. I'm not built for this kind of thing, but it's worth it. Check out the view. Check out the view. Oh, so beautiful. Yosemite never disappoints. Oh, so nice. That's my dad over there. At the end of the last Yosemite video, we were chilling in this area and nobody's ever going to go in that water right now. You just die. How are you doing, Mom? Oh. You okay? Are you cold? How cold? <laughs> I'll take a half. Check this out. Check out this ice. Oh. 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 Spooky. Mm, Mirror Lake. No water. Very Californian. Jimmy! Jimmy, is that you? God damn it, Jimmy. How the hell are you? How's the wife? How are the kids? Oh man, come on. Bring it in. Come on, dap it up. Come on. Come on. Your lake might not have any water, but it's always good to see old friends. It's always good to see old friends. Hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, now for time for a blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Now it's time for a proper intro. I'm here at Yosemite with my parents. They're behind this camera, rocking the EOS R5 and the uh, X-Pan, but this video is more about this camera. After a nice long walk in the cold, it's hot ramen. Mm. Got a week's worth of sodium in that meal alone. Delicious. All right, can you imagine spending $500 a night? You wake up, 
you see this mountainside right by you you got this whole entire view to you that's something else i've never been to this hotel before but it's crazy expensive 500 bucks a night if you got that budget you're gonna enjoy it here in yosemite that sounds like an ad it's not an ad it's not sponsored Hey, what's going on you guys? I just want to hop on here real quick to talk about my trip to Yosemite and my experience with the Hasselblad X-Pan. The reason why my parents and I went to Yosemite like soon after my last trip was because my parents saw the last Yosemite 2.0 video and my dad wanted to make a trip out here before Thanksgiving. So he kind of planned a trip uh, between the three of us and we ventured out here pretty early on a saturday morning i think i think we left our house at like 3 a.m and we got there at like 7 a.m it was really freaking early for me i was all tossed and about in terms of like my body a homeostasis it wasn't even there what am i even talking about this trip was two days long and we had to strategically plan each day because we only had such a small amount of time sunset is at 5 p.m but because the mountains are so high the sun dips behind the mountains really quick so i think sunset was actually at 4 15 or pretty much that's when we ran out of light and you already saw the photos in the video so far that the photos turned out pretty good fun little fact slash honesty time the first shot of me loading the x pan with lomo 800 was actually at the end of the trip is because i never got a clip of me loading the actual film that i shot with during the trip uh, all these shots were on Porsche 400, none of them were on Lomo 800. The Lomo 800 is actually still in the X-Pan right now waiting to be finished up and, you know, developed by the lab. I got a great mix of like fall colors, warm sunlight, really cool shadows, um, ice for a nice texture and color contrast. And all in all, the 45 millimeter on the X-Pan was a perfect focal length for this place. I have a 90 millimeter on me right now and I'm going to be kind of testing it out for a really short time. I have to return the camera back to film objective uh real soon so won't be able to test that out on too many things one of the things that i struggle with when it comes to photographing yosemite is the harsh like dynamic range in like almost every scene because there's always crazy shadows and crazy light whenever i show up there's not too many like cloudy days uh, or partly cloudy days that occur when i visit this national park when i shoot digitally i have to rely on the canon sensor's ability to capture all those details in the highlights and shadows sometimes i have to overexpose sometimes i have to underexpose to capture the highlights or retain details in the shadows but for film as you all know has a crazy amount of dynamic range i can overexpose to like you know expose the shadows but the highlights won't be blown out and wow like look at this shot this is this is my favorite shot i'll post it up on the screen right now I love all the details in the shadows, highlights, and even in the fog. Something that like is kind of weird or like hard for me to photograph is like fog um, and sun rays that kind of go through like trees or a little bit of a thin fog or thin haze. I feel like the digital sensors are so good at eliminating any like imperfection or lack of detail that it kind of cuts through it. Of course, you could bring it back in post, but having it like come straight out of the camera like this is so beautiful and in this aspect ratio it looks perfect i will print this and put this on my wall this wall right here is so blank and i feel like i have a lot of photos that i can print out i just never get around to printing i feel like every photographer should print some of their work everybody has like print worthy okay not everybody but everybody can create print worthy work the x-pan showed off its entire glory throughout this weekend trip i have no regrets using it um again like it's a very expensive camera i personally would not own one myself but if you ever want to try out a Hasselblad X-Pan, you should check out Film Objective. Film Objective is a really cool company because there's tons of rental companies for digital goods, whether that comes for photography or videography. You could rent lenses and camera bodies for digital stuff. But for film products, it's really hard to get your hands on some because you have to go on eBay or meet in person and you have to really take a risk in buying something that was made in the late 80s or early 60s or whatever. And you just don't know if it actually works. So Film Objective is that quintessential rental company for film cameras. You could try out the Hasselblad X-Pan, the Mamiya 7 II, the Pentax 6 7 
or you could try out other cameras in their selection and you can even develop your film through them which is also really cool in 35 millimeters or 120 so you should definitely check it out filmobjective.org thank you film objective for sponsoring this video all right that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching another yosemite trip that i wouldn't really count this as yosemite 3.0 uh, another trip to there might you know call for that but the x-pan beautiful camera i will be testing out the 90 millimeters in the last remaining days and i'll make a video out of that as well but thank you guys so much for watching like the video sub leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace